So, the Infinity War Blu-ray is coming out very soon, globally. So, the Avengers Infinity War hits digital HD on July the 31st, which is this coming week in 4K and Blu-ray. And the DVD comes on the 14th of August, if you live in America. For some reason, if you live in Europe and England, it comes out on September the 3rd. Which is very strange, seeing as we got the Avengers Infinity War movie released before America so to get the blu-ray after them doesn't really make much sense exactly like the Ant-Man and Wasp comes out this week in England and most of Europe and yeah we usually we get them first which is weird so I'm Wash Chew if you're new to the channel make sure to subscribe we do Marvel based videos all week long so this video is primarily based around the Infinity War blu-ray because it actually tells us and gives us some clues about what's coming up in Avengers 4 so Avengers Infinity War New footage has popped online courtesy of Jabla movie trailers. I think that's how you say it. Uh, it offers a behind the scenes look at the climactic fight sequence featuring Iron Man, Star Lord, Spider Man, Doctor Strange, Drax, and the even more powerful Mad Titan Thanos in action. You know, that was the kind of r the bit where he didn't kill Tony Stark and he let him survive. So, this bit's actually really important. So, the footage starts with obviously the directors. Anthony and Joe Russo explain how the battle in the film starts with either a stunt team or VFX team and it also shows the making of the scene featuring Iron Man and Thanos in which Tony Stark asks the Mad Titan how do you know his name obviously his name being Tony Stark and ends the clip showing the actual fight sequence including the theatrical cut of the Avengers Infinity War when you see it what it looks like in the green screen and how they're actually acting out compared to what we got to see in the cinema it is absolutely mental now yes this is the same scene where they literally nearly took the infinity gauntlet off Thanos and then Star-Lord got mad and messed everything up so the bonus material will be included within the blu-ray which is pretty cool but it does give a lot of context away for the infinity stones because yes everyone can think they know what they actually do but marvel's actually given us a definition of what the stones actually do which is interesting and one of them might give a clue of how the avengers or at least the avengers that got sucked into soul stone actually come back so by definition the space stone allows the user to travel across any dimension which obviously means if you have the space stone you can travel anywhere in the world you could in theory travel to the dark dimension the quantum realm i guess and places like that although it doesn't say that i guess that's what it means by different dimensions it's a bit unclear the time stone allows you to see the future and alter the past which will come into play and obviously doctor strange in the movie when he went forward in time 14 million six hundred thousand and eighty times i guess that's what he was doing there the reality stone allows you to bend reality at your will which realistically thanos could have erased half the population and just made his own reality so yeah that one's a bit strange so the power stone allows you to destroy anything allows you to destroy anything which is pretty interesting so it literally just is power the mind stone allows you to create an alter consciousness which yes is linked to obviously Ultron and how Vision was formed so that's pretty cool but the big major news is they've actually given us some context some actual information guys of what the Soul Stone actually did so you can control life and death so the Soul Stone is mega OP officially saying that you can control life and death which literally means you could do anything so in the movie Thanos traveled to a planet Volmore and exchanged Gamora's life for the said Soul Stone or Soul Gem. Nevertheless, the actual purpose of the Soul Stone wasn't made clear until now, and I can see why. Because obviously, they wanted you to go to the cinema, watch it by the Blu ray or the digital download, so you could get more answers and watch the bonus extended stuff, so you could get more context. So, we know the truth that with the Soul Stone, you can control life and death. Surely this is the key to reversing Thanos snap and bringing back everyone from the life, obviously being dead. So nevertheless, the Russo brothers have teased it comes with a great cost. What is this cost going to be? Is it going to be Tony Stark dying? Is it going to be Captain America? Because in order to reverse everything of what happened with the Soul Stone, someone's going to have to be sacrificed in order for them to truly possess the power of said 
Soul Stone, which is interesting. So obvious, the most obvious option would be the surviving Avengers will take place with the dead, with the dead Avengers, even though I'm not really dead. That would be kind of obvious. So after the Ant Man and Wasp was revealed and came out, obviously it comes out in Europe and UK this week. So careful spoilers if you don't want to know. So basically, in the ending of that, we are introduced to a time vortex just before Scott Lang is trapped in the quantum realm, and that will be how they travel to different parts of the MCU history. I made a video yesterday about how I think it's actually going to be traveling to memories rather than actual destinations I will link that video somewhere in this video, but that's kind of interesting So perhaps in Avengers 4 this will allow them to fight back against Thanos But only when he is defeated can the soul stone be used to restore all those who fell because remember There's a lot of people fell Nick Fury Spider-Man Maria Hill, but did Pepper Potts she could have died as well, which is interesting so that said, there was an interesting thing that said they came out and said, which I think is going to be the forefront for the actual movie. Because as you know, the main star of the Avengers is Tony Stark. I know everyone likes to not say it, but they have said that Peter dying in his arms is going to change Tony Stark forever. Of course, the Russo brothers wouldn't elaborate further as they didn't want to spoil Avengers 4, yet they keep saying things. They're like, I don't want to, I don't want to give you spoilers. But we've got to advertise the movie, so I'm going to keep telling things that's going to make you talk about it. But given that the Playboy Philanthropist is nursing a whole lot of guilt already, not just from Civil War, but from his weapon dealing days, you can bet we'll be seeing a very avengeful Iron Man in the next sequel. So it's hard to elaborate what they mean by that when they say it's going to change Tony forever. So maybe we're going to see a completely different Avengers 4 version of Iron Man. Iron Man's going to be defeated, obviously, because he's lost half the universe. He failed. He Thanos owned him. He knew Thanos was coming ever since 2012, ever since the New York but he couldn't do anything about it. So I presume what's going to happen in Avengers 4 is he's going to build a new suit. He's going to build his own Infinity Gauntlet with the help of the Dwarf King, maybe. And it'd be something like that. But it's going to be interesting because obviously we know Spider-Man's coming back because Far From Home is set months after. So we know literally everyone's going to return, but not everyone will return. Most people will return. But I just think it's interesting that with the Soul Stone, you can control a life and death. So guys, who do you think is going to be sacrificed? I think they're going to sacrifice... I don't know. It could be literally anyone. Captain America would be the obvious one, but I don't... Like, it's a hard one because, obviously, Robert Downey Jr. and Chris Evans' contract is up after Avengers 4. So unless they both resign, which Chris Evans has, has clearly said multiple times, he wants to go into other projects and, and the, being with the Marvel movies was holding him back from doing other work. I think it's quite clear that, sorry guys, Captain America is going to die in this movie. So anyway guys, please like, subscribe and comment. I will be doing a Blu-ray giveaway. I should be hooking up and teaming up with Marvel to give away some Blu-rays for this movie, hopefully. But it doesn't come out in my country till September, so I'm not sure when I can actually get hold of them. But I will keep you posted on my up-and-coming Avengers 4 videos as I do a lot of them. Uh, I will be dropping a Venom video later on tonight about some updates about when the trailer's coming as I keep getting a lot of questions. So like always guys, please like, subscribe and comment as it does help push the channel as we are trying to hit 100,000 subscribers by the end of 2019, which is a long way away. But 70,000 away is quite a big number. So guys, keep smashing that subscribe button and like button and I will catch you in another video very soon. Catch ya later.